Let's discover the volume of rectangular prisms. Volume is the capacity inside of three-dimensional shapes. We are going to specifically look at rectangular prisms. When you think about capacity, think about water filling up a container. How much water can actually be inside? First thing I would like you to think about is a straight line, one dimension. We call this linear because it has a line. We say that it's one dimension because it's 14 centimeters, just centimeters, one dimension. Now when I add another dimension here, I create a rectangle. I have the base and I have the height. Each have their own measurement. The base is 14 centimeters, still a linear measurement, and the height is 10 centimeters, still linear. However, inside we find the area, which is 140 centimeters squared, because now there is two dimensions. But what happens when we add a third dimension? First, let's think about height and height. Kind of confusing, right? Well, let's be a little bit more specific. First of all, we know that we would call base also length, height was also width, but the height here is actually the height of the shape. It's how tall the shape is. Where the height over here in yellow is actually the height of the rectangle, but we can also call that the width. So the three dimensions, length, width, and height, create the three-dimensional rectangular prism. So let's look inside here. You see if I put water, it has to fill up the base completely, and then it gets taller and taller and taller until it's full. So we're going to find the volume of this rectangular prism. So I'm going to measure the base, you see three centimeters for one side and three centimeters for the other side, which looks like this. So we can find the area of the base. Let's fill up just the base first. Area is three times three and area is nine centimeters squared. Remember, we have area two dimensions centimeters squared. So the whole base is nine centimeters squared. We call that the area of the base. We also use a capital B to represent the area of the base. You can think about this as being B times H or L times W. Now let's find the height. It's approximately six centimeters high. So we are shown here the area of the base, which is the nine centimeters squared, with the height going up as six centimeters. If I multiply those together, I end up with the volume. Nine times six is 54 centimeters cubed, where nine centimeters squared is the capital B, remember I said that's the area of the base, and six being the height of the shape, that's how tall the shape got. So we have multiplied those together so that volume equals capital B times H. Nine centimeters squared times six centimeters gives us 54 centimeters cubed. Let's try this one more time with this shape that has three dimensions. Again, volume is capital B times H or big B, where big B is the area of the base. Clearly, we need to identify the base. In our previous slide, we showed you that this red by yellow rectangle completes the base. We see that it's 14 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So we multiply that and we get 140 centimeters squared. And that becomes the area of the base or capital B. So volume equals 140 times we need H. In this case, H is 12 centimeters, that is the height of the shape. 
multiply 140 times 12. Go ahead and work on the math here. Slightly running out of room, but still able to <laughs> add it together. And we see that the volume is 1,680 centimeters cubed. Again, there's our three-dimensional shape. So let's keep in mind that volume is big B, capital B, area of the base, times the height. Now the way to think about this is to replace the big B by multiplying length times width times height. So let's try, capital B times H. Let's identify the base, three by 10, which gives us 30 inches squared. Now let's find the height, multiply by the height, and we get 120 inches cubed. One more example. Now they gave us big V. They gave us the area of the base and we're given the height. So we use the same formula, volume equals big B times H. We just fill in what we know. 32 is the area already done for us. Could be four times eight. We multiply that by the 5.5 as the height. Go ahead and work out the math. And the volume is 176 inches cubed. So today's takeaway, volume for a rectangular prism is capital B times H.